I'm a full-time pro no-code developer at a funded startup, and today I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step guide to go from zero to full-time developer for under $1,000. For eight months in 2020, I spent my time copying and pasting numbers from this old COBOL system into Excel sheets that I would then present to my manager. You would look at them for like a second and then throw them out. I just graduated from my finance degree and was at my first job working for one of the top finance executives in my country. I was working eight hours a week for really low pay and horrible working conditions. And I was looking for a way out. And probably like you, I found Bubble and was looking into it and was thinking of my next idea to create the next big marketplace like Uber or Airbnb into reality. I was looking at the Bubble form and being like, wow, this is gonna be huge. Fast forward to today, I work with three other great developers and I've met like tens and tens of Bubble developers, some good, some bad. And today I just wanna break down exactly how I would learn Bubble if I had to start over from scratch, if I was where I was when I was thinking of creating my first idea. This is mainly targeted at becoming a Bubble developer. So not creating your app, but rather being a developer for an agency or a startup like I am. The first thing I would do is make sure you actually want to learn Bubble. <laughs> Bubble is great for real independent people. Most people I know in Bubble are freelancers or work for agencies. They have full freedom over their schedules and come from all over the world and are entrepreneurial people and not looking for a nine to five job. And the reason is because when you're a bubbler, you need to be extremely self-disciplined. There's nobody gonna be telling you what to do or what to work on. There's gonna be projects with a structure and schedule and you need to stick to it and actually deliver. So if you're looking for a nine to five schedule with a manager, bubble is definitely not for you. Also, if you're looking for more stability, bubble is not great. But if you're looking to create your own startup, side hustles, work for agencies, work on your own travel, Bubble is definitely the place to be. Let's jump on to number two. Second step, I think, is the Bubble Interactive Lessons. These are essentially guided sandbox for building small bubble apps where a cursor guides you click by click when to enter, so you don't need to actually make any decisions. The bubble editor is a little intimidating because it's empty in the beginning, so it's really good to have that cursor guide you and show you the functionality, get you familiar with the bubble flow. Even though you won't actually be learning how to build much with this, it'll just give you a good sense of what it's like to be a bubbler, what the different tabs mean, and get you familiar with how bubble works as a development framework. All right, now that you're familiar with the bubble basic flow, I think the next best step is doing Bubble's how-to series, where essentially it's articles that show you step-by-step -step how to build something like an Instagram clone or a LinkedIn clone. These are very rudimentary articles, but they just give you a good understanding on how to build a real app, not just a specific workflow. I would pick two of the most interesting ones you find in the how-to series and build them exactly as written. Don't try to veer off of them or try to make them into complete apps because it's gonna be really hard and you're just gonna get stuck really quickly. So I would just do two of the articles exactly step-by-step step to get familiar with the flow. Again, you probably won't understand exactly what you're doing at this point, but you'll be a lot more familiar after this step to actually start building real apps. Okay, at this point, you're sure you wanna do use Bubble you've done the basic interactive lessons and you did two how-to articles. So you're pretty familiar with the editor and how the flow works on building with Bubble. And so now it's time to dive in to an actual real course. Step number four is the AirDev self-paced course. AirDev is one of the largest and oldest Bubble agencies. They have a unique way of building apps using a proprietary design framework they created on top of Bubble, but you don't understand what that means right now. They have a free course that goes over all the bubble basics from design to logic to custom states. You'll learn about that soon and much more. It's one of the most professional courses out there and it's 100% free and a great place to start. I actually did this course and it helped me a ton to get where I am today. Most people will actually drop off at this point, but if you're able to complete this course, you're already in a much better place than 90% of the people who try to learn Bubble. Step number five, complete the AirDev Pro Bootcamp. So this is the next level of the AirDev course. I completed this bootcamp and it was probably one of the most important courses I did to date. 
every week they gave me another concept and task and we had to hand in assignments based on those tasks and they would grade them. This massively helped me take my skills to the next level and stay accountable to myself and the program. So it's a little bit more of a cohort based boot camp type of program, which I think really helps with motivation and also just meeting some really amazing bubble developers that are real pros and also getting all the support from instructors is so helpful. So I, like I said, if you completed the first air dev course and you got into this pro bootcamp, you're pretty much almost there. Like you can start taking projects, although in the next steps, I will break down how you can actually become a real pro. And unlike most boot camps that charge you 20 K to learn how to code, this is 100% free. So you have literally nothing to lose. The next step is get a build camp subscription. In addition to this guy's incredibly soothing voice and dry humor, he sneaks into these videos. Gregory John is one of the OG no code developers and his content is by far the best in the community. He has his own course platform where he teaches everything related to responsiveness and UI design. I haven't met a single pro bubble dev that didn't do at least one of his courses. I would watch a few of his videos to get to a point where you can build fully responsive designs on your own. And responsive just means that your web apps can actually work on a mobile screen and on any size screen. I wouldn't spend too much time, but just understand the basic concepts of column row. I would just stop at the point where you fully feel comfortable building your own responsive designs, but don't spend too much time doing too many courses. I'm sure there's tens of hours of content there and it's easy to get sucked in to it. All right, step number, I believe seven. At this point, stop all your learning. Take a week off and spend time with your family. Take a deep breath and adjust everything you've learned. Once you've had a good breath and let all of the knowledge sink in, Offer your friend, colleague, uncle to build an app for free for them. This can be whatever app you want, as long as it's extremely simple. Like a good rule of thumb here is that it shouldn't have more than one API integration and one core feature. If it includes the words AI or crypto, it's not a good project to start with. Make this person pay for the bubble subscription and make sure you finish the project. Don't learn anything else until you actually complete this most basic project and you should be embarrassed by how it looks. That should be a requirement, but just launch it. All right, let's go to step number eight. Read the ultimate guide to bubble performance. So now you can build pretty apps. You know the basics. Now let's think about how you build performant apps, which means fast apps that can handle scale. When you have a lot of users, you wanna make sure the experience is fast. Peter Amley, is also an OG bubble developer. And he wrote one of the most important books for bubble devs about building apps with good performance, which essentially just means faster apps. His book also reviews how bubble manages certain processes and calculations. It's pretty critical to read this if you don't want your apps to be painfully slow and complicated. I have this ebook open every time I'm building in a bookmark so I can quickly reference it as needed. And it's probably been the most important thing taking me from a beginner bubble developer to a pro bubble developer. I think just by reading this, you can charge a much higher rate, both for agencies or full-time gigs. The next step is update your LinkedIn and Twitter with bubble developer in the title. Sometimes just having something as your title creates opportunities and lets people know you're available for hire. I've gotten so many messages on LinkedIn and Twitter just by having bubble developer as my title. And at this point, you'll have a lot of skills to actually back it up. And the last step for becoming a pro bubble developer is experimenting with frames and atomic fusion. There's literally no one way to build on bubble, <laughs> but in recent months, there's been two new tools that help systematize design within bubble. One is Atomic Fusion that helps save components you built. So if you design something, you can save it to Atomic Fusion and use it in other apps. And the other one is Frames. It's a pre-built responsive wireframes you can use to insert in your bubble app. It's made by Gregory John, the build camp guy. 
and it's pretty cool. I messed around with it a little bit. My suggestion is you find your own way to utilize these tools that make sense for you. I'm trying to learn that these are pretty new, but I think this could be pretty big. And if you can make your development any bit faster using these tools, it's a huge plus. So why not? Congratulations. You are now a pro bubble developer. Go find a few bubble agencies and message them to see if they have any projects or apply to the AirDev partner program, which is a program where you can work for AirDev on specific projects, but you know that by now if you followed these steps. Some of you will be so good at this point that you'll need to give me some advice. So I am looking forward to that and subscribe to this channel or comment on topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching.